let me explain what I do. Today is March 13th, 2017. Came from the gym, went to the supermarket, bought some stuff. While I was uh, putting, get this out of the bag, and I was thinking, yeah, sometimes the best way, if you don't want to spend too much, the best way to stick to your goal when you go to the gym, uh, not the gym, when you go to the supermarket, instead of taking the, the cart uh, to put your stuff in as you go down the aisle, it's better to carry the little baskets that the supermarket usually have because once you start carrying it and you realize it's heavy, if you're not driving, <laughs> You're gonna say, how the hell am I gonna get these home? So that will make you stick to your goal when you go to the supermarket to buy to stick to what you wanted to buy. So I went to buy milk and potato. And if I come across uh what is that the bacon, I'll buy it. And uh it's gonna rain, uh not rain, it's gonna snow sometimes this week, probably tonight into tomorrow. So that's something I usually do with the potato. I may have recorded one of them when I was doing it. So my son loves it. So whenever I go to the supermarket, I'll grab one of the bacon and then when I make the potatoes, I'll do it. And uh, there's another version that I make with the potatoes. I put cheese in it. He loves it. So I will grab one of these. This was, I think, $1.99. So, but these, they were on sale. Uh, whenever I go to the supermarket, I'll pass by the frozen section to see what they have that's on sale. And these, I believe they were 99 cents. So I grabbed a couple of them. I bought uh, mixed vegetables. Uh, yeah, there's these. Mixed vegetables, corn. I usually just eat, you know, steam it, warm it up and eat it just like that. And some mixed peppers when I'm cooking to stir fry the stuff and some uh, chopped onions. They rarely have, they usually have it. I guess people usually just grab them and by the time I get to the supermarket, there's none left. So I grabbed uh, two of them. Um, I didn't wanna buy too many. They were only just 99 cents. So yeah, I pretty much stick to the plan. So I was carrying the basket and the thing starting to get heavy. And I was like, okay, let me just stick to what I wanted and leave. And uh, I wanted to buy fish for the kids over the weekend. When was that? Friday or Saturday I bought and I made it. They loved it. It's gone. So I don't eat fish. So it's all of them who ate it with the exception of me. So I'm, on Wednesday, I probably will go back to the supermarket to see what's on sale. Right now, it's $13.99 per pound. So I'll go on Wednesday to see if it's less than $13.99. Uh, if it's $13.99, I'll grab it anyway. But uh, more than $13.99, I'm not gonna buy. So uh, I'm gonna talk about my workout. Meanwhile, let me put these back. Let me put these in the freezer. And my workout today, I didn't go to the gym on Saturday and Sunday. The reason I did not go is because I had to study with my son. I did not want to, I did not want to focus on anything about me. I didn't even turn on the computer to do any of my work because I really wanted to focus on his studying because last weekend his dad uh, studied with him and I, I did not have the energy to study with him last week, not this past weekend, the weekend prior. And his dad was studying with him and he didn't do too well on the exam. And when he was studying with him, I did not like the way he was uh, studying with him. He doesn't have as much patience as I do. My son doesn't like when I'm studying with him because I really pick his brain to see if he gets what uh, we're reading. So his dad didn't really do focus on the way that I normally do. He just read the thing and then let him go. But I completely was out of it. And I knew he, uh, I didn't like the way he was studying with him, but I didn't say anything. But uh, this past weekend, yesterday and Saturday, I studied with him. I made sure I didn't turn on the computer uh, to do any of my work. I did not go to the gym. 
because I didn't want to come home and get tired and I can't really focus on it. So I didn't do anything about me over the weekend at all. With the exception of taking a shower, brush my teeth, eat, and you know, some really hygiene stuff. But besides that, I was really focused on him. So uh, tomorrow he's gonna have a test. I'm thinking I might go pick him up today to study with him. So yeah. That's that. Uh, let me stop my phone. Hello? This is Michigan Academy calling to let you know that school will be closed on March 14th due to the winter weather advisory. Please be safe in this weather. Thanks and have a great day. Come to acknowledge this call or star to repeat this message. All right. So while I was talking about me probably going to pick up my son, his school just called. Uh, they said tomorrow the 14th. Today is the 13th, right? Today is the 13th, March 13th, and tomorrow is the 14th. So they're going to close due to the weather. So I'm not going to pick him up today. So we'll, uh, okay, just when I was talking about it. Uh, so I'm not going to pick him up like I was thinking of. I'm just going to, uh, I'll study with him tomorrow. So that's good, in a way. And they're probably going to make up those classes, uh, extend the school year. I think they did that last year. They're going to extend the school year because there were a lot of school closing due to weather. But anyway, let me talk about my workout today. So today, uh, because I didn't go to the gym, let me see, I didn't go, I think, third. Thursday, Friday, I might have gone on Thursday, but I know I didn't go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which was yesterday. Um, so I made sure I wanted to do legs. So I said, oh, okay, so you see tomorrow I will not be able to go to the gym because I'll be home with the kids. So what I did today, I wanted to do legs because I didn't do any of that yes, uh, last week. So I just minor things because I still have some leg issues. Um, so what I did, I made sure I did legs the minute I got there. Warm up a little bit. I did, uh, you know, calf raises, 25 pounds as a warm up. And then in a circuit, I did these exercises one after the other. The only time, uh, rest time that I had was walking from one to the other. So I start with, Remember, I did calf raises with 25 pounds as warm up, and then for a working set, I did calf raises 70 pounds, three sets of 12. Actually, all of them is three sets of 12, so I don't have to keep repeating. I did hack squats 90 pounds, leg press 90 pounds, calf raises uh, with uh, 70 pounds, which I said. And then once I, f I did three sets of 12 of all of this, once I was done with that, I went back to the calf raise, I did a 25 pound, one set of 12 now, just, you know, rotating my uh, toes on it, and then do a little bit um, calf, regular calf raises on it without stopping. So it probably, uh, just one set after I did all that. Once I was done with that, I wanted to do the leg extension and the leg uh, curl as a circuit, but someone just sat on the freaking machine talking on the phone. So I said, you know what, let me just do the leg uh, curl. Um, let me just do that and then I'll, uh, I'll do the leg extension. So I did leg curls, four sets of 16. I was just gonna do three sets of 12, but the guy was still sitting there. So I did four sets of 16, only 65 pounds, all right? And then he got up, I guess, to go talk uh, on the phone, and he left his towel on the freaking machine. I moved the towel, I didn't care, because I wanted to get that out of the way. I moved the towel and did uh, the leg, uh, the leg uh, extension, uh, three sets of 12, 90 pounds. And it was really quick, because I didn't take that much of a rest. Be the more, I didn't time myself, but it's between, uh, I didn't even walk around. I just stand up in front of the machine, and then sit right back down. Uh, three sets of 12, 90 pounds, I believe it was maybe between 20 and 40 seconds rest. Less than 40 seconds. Then once I was done with that, I was done with legs. That was it. Um, I was like, man, I may not, 
I was thinking of the snow. I wasn't even thinking about, uh, you know, the kids may not have school. But I was thinking of, you know, I may not come to the gym tomorrow to do some upper body. Let me just do some stuff. I went to the, the dumbbell, the free weights area. I did inner circuit, rear delt flight, 5 pounds, 3 sets of 20. Shoulder press uh, with 30 pounds, dumbbell, 3 sets of 10. Upright row, 30 pounds, barbell, 3 sets of 12. And shoulder presses, standing up with the same barbell, 30 pounds, 3 sets of 12. And shrugs, I was going to use a 42.5 pound, but uh, one of the, uh, the dumbbells were, was taken, so I did the 45 pound. You see, I put 42.5, then I cross it and put uh, 45 pounds. So with the upright row, um, I think I've mentioned it so many times in previous uh, videos, the ball has a couple uh, grooves in it. So for each set, after um, one, bleh, for each set, my hand is moving in different position within the ball until the third last set, I come upright, uh, close grip. So I, the first set was uh, wide grip. The second set was a little bit close to, uh, you know, I move closer. And then uh, the last set was uh, uh, close grip. Upright row. So I did all this in the circuit, and like I said, with the upright row, my hand, each time I come, my hand is moving closer toward uh, moving different position on the ball. And with the shoulder press with the barbell, I uh, did 12 sets, uh, 12 repetition. The first set, I did 12 uh, uh, front, 12 in the back. The second set, when I came back, I did. Uh, six in the front, six in the back. And then the last set I did, um, I think it's equal to tw uh, 12 repetitions, but I did one in front, one in back, back and forth, going back and forth, different um, position. And I was done with that. And I wanted to do biceps and I said, you know what? All last week when I came, I only did biceps. So I decided to do triceps. So I went to the cable area and I did, uh, you know the rope uh, tricep push down um what did i do oh before i i did that i did well i was gonna put the the 30 pound barbell away i did uh what is it uh 30 pound one set of 18. i did just regular bicep curls and that's when i was thinking oh you know what all last week i was doing biceps let me do some triceps um this time and i put the barbell away and i went to the cable and I did tricep push down, just 20 pounds. I did uh, one set till failure. So I started fall back and I, you know, start going like this. I don't know how many repetitions that I did. And I move closer, I move closer. And once I get really close, I still go in, you know, close like that. I use the rope when I come down and I extend, like push it to the side like this. You know, I come down. One, let me move back. I come down, and once I get here, I twist my uh, wrist to the side. So I did, I really don't know how many repetitions that I did. I started far back, and as I started getting tired, I moved closer toward the resistance, and it got a bit easier, and then once I was tired, I was done. And to do a little bit extra, once I get close, um, to you know, push the extra, do an extra set, I uh, open my leg a little bit and then it is easier like that for me. And I open my leg and I push down. So I don't know. One day I'll do, uh, I'll record it and show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, once I was done with that, I stay in the machine, I did oblique with the same weight, 20 pounds. I did one set of 60. Like I said, I mentioned it so many times on my um, other videos and I start back and I twist. I did 20 repetitions like this once I get tired. Even though I could go a little bit more, I just want to do just 60 and I turn slightly closer toward the resistance. I do 20 set, 20 reps like that and then I do another 20 a little bit closer and then I go to the, uh, what's that, the, the, what is it, the, the squat rack. Nobody was using it. They have a, a bar up front. I hold on to it and then I just push, you know, rotate my core 
to uh, to the position to the side that I was doing the the oblique and I did couple repetitions I stopped go back to the other side go back to the uh, squat rack and you know do a couple movement and that was it and if I were to go to the gym tomorrow I was gonna do the same thing the exact same thing um, I don't I'm not into a plan right now um, I need to create a new plan but since I'm not, I've been so busy, like my son, I need to study with him, I need to do a lot of things, I'm working on my own project. So I don't have time to really focus on a plan. So when I go to the gym, I just do to maintain right now. Um, probably if uh, once I, you know, I'm a little bit more free, which is very unlikely because before you know it, the summer is here, I have to be with the kids. Most likely, I will look at on my strength training that I just did see where I left off and try to increase the weight my goal with the strength training for the uh, I believe it was uh, dumbbell bench press I wanted to bench press uh, bench press 40 pounds and I think I got to 37.5 and lately when I go to the gym when I do bench press I try to stay within that weight uh, there are times I don't feel like lifting that heavy, I'll go with 35, but I try not to go too low, so when I decided to come back to do a little bit more strength training and I can't lift where I left off. So I try to stay within 35 and 37.5 uh, on my dumbbell um, uh, bench press. So that's it. I am going to boil some potatoes for the kids. They finish some of the thing. Anyway. And I need to eat. That's it. Thanks for watching.